Annyeong! Pianist Jim Kim here. We are back to Let's Practice series. So in this video, I want to share uh, some tip about how to create a sense of direction <laughs> in your piece. I want to share three different things you might want to try in, with your piece to create that sense of uh, pulse with your piece. In my high school, I remember my teacher told me in music, there are three ingredients, uh, melody, harmony, and rhythm. It's one of the most important things to create a structure of the piece would be rhythm. Just like when you go to some town in Africa, they might create a, this gorgeous music sound only with the percussive, with the clapping or this uh, musical instrument that does not have even harmony or melody, but it sounds music. Uh, understanding pulse within the music, within the measure, within the whole piece is one of the primitive and one of the most important step for any piece you play. You really have to think music as a conductor's perspective. Um, of even though you're the one who performs it, just imagine there's someone else who is still you, but conducting this piece. And how would you conduct this piece? And what will be the uh, bigger picture that you want to draw in your piece? So let's get started. First method is actually counting out loud. I know if you're not used to counting out loud, this could be really confusing, but with practice, this will be really useful too. Um, so if you're not familiar with the rhythm or, or detail of the piece, you can start subdividing it. So in this piece, you can have like one and two and three and one and two and three. Once you get familiar with that counting, then you can get rid of and and just say one, two, three. And if you can, make the emphasis on one a little bit more because it's a three, four time signature. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's say you're familiar with that. Then I would group the whole measure as a one. And so you can have a, a sense of a whole measure as a one and still count it out loud as a one. So that would be one, one. After that, <laughs> the next step will be you're creating a group of measures depending on a phrasing. So I see this phrasing as a two plus two plus four. So I will count like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. So that way you are kind of creating um, current underneath. Did you feel that one, two, then the two measures has a better sense of a current uh, created underneath. So that's what I, especially when you go to the four phrasing, that is much easier. So try that counting out loud with your piece and finding a phrasing in that way as well. So second way you can try is actually conducting the piece. You can do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, so one, two, as anything fancy but just try to indicate where is the downbeat of each measure and or the group of phrasing depending on the downbeat I would definitely try that if you can actually create the sound in your head that would be better rather than try what I did with right hand and left hand conduct which still works but I would try to do conduct and try to find the natural flow of the music that way third way is actually walking with a piece Either you play your own recording along or in your head, you are playing that piece and walk with it. So I would walk, I <laughs> so no, I can say like one, two, one, two, one, two, 
I don't know, I'm actually making sense here. But I, what I did was actually making downbeat as my one step, you know? So uh, later on, what I'm trying to do is creating that current of feel of the pulse in a bigger body motion or hand motion. And eventually you can also try to sway, not this way, but sway a little bit without at this point counting out loud, but kind of create that feeling in your head. I'm slightly sway. You can sway or depending on the phrasing as well. So I would do two, two, four. So I would go one direction and one and two phrasing, the other direction, one and two. And I do four phrasing with the one slow sway, one direction. Let's see how we can work. So, the key is try not to move again within the phrasing four. <laughs> so that's how I would try to practice uh, creating that current within myself. I hope that was helpful. I hope this gave you some idea to play around with your own pieces. And let me know how this practice strategy worked for you. If you're interested in finding out more practice tips that I share with you, you can go to this playlist in which I collected all the practice tips I created for you in the past. So hope you have a great practice this week. Practice efficiently. <laughs> Annyeong!